Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm just going to be going over some Canva tips and tricks for KDP in 2022. So Canva is my favorite design software at the moment and I know loads of people have various views on it but I think the more that you use it you'll be more surprised by its general capabilities. So watch this video. Now the first tip we're going to be taking a look at are QR codes and and these are great to use if you want to take some of your customers back to maybe your books on Amazon or if you've got a landing page maybe and you want to build an email list or if you've got a website that you want to take some of your customers to then you can use this type of code and Canva has this feature now. So I've got it here on my far left, but what most people would usually have to do is just click the more option. Then you'll see QR code come up and then all you need to do is enter the URL for your books on Amazon, maybe a landing page or your website. So in this instance, I'm just going to use a page on Amazon, copy and paste it to generate a code just give it a moment and then there you have your code. So a customer can now scan that with their phone and it will take them directly to wherever you want. And ideally I'll put them on the first and last page of your book. So the magic shortcut is a great new feature that Canva has recently added as it basically allows you to find some of the more important features that you need very quickly. All you need to do is type the forward slash button on your keyboard and you'll be given these options. So now I can just select the text if I want to add a text. If I wanted to add a line, arrow, circle, square, I can do that. And then if you scroll even further down, you can find graphics, photos, videos, logos, open grids, and there's even a help feature as well. So it's definitely a quicker way to get things done. You can also edit PDFs in Canva. And if you want to get your interiors from Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, or any other website, then you can definitely make edits and changes to these in Canva just to make them a little bit more unique. And to do this, all you need to do is drag and drop your file into Canva. Then give it a little while to load. You do have to make sure that the file is up to 100 pages as Canva only allows this amount. The other way to import a PDF is all you need to do is click create a design in the right hand corner. And then if you can see near the bottom, it says import file. But we can see now our file has finally been downloaded. And now you can click on it Give it a second to load and you can see that it comes out quite well and the good thing is now i can make all the little changes that i need to to make this interior unique also these pdfs they don't always come out perfect but as i mentioned before now the file is editable you can make all the changes that you need to now another new feature that they've added into Canva is the Draw app. Now this is really good if you are good at drawing or maybe if you're an illustrator and maybe if you've even just been learning on apps such as Procreate, then you're going to find this feature really fantastic. So you need to go to more and then you will see the option of draw. It's in beta at the moment, but I find it really great to use so far. So you can see that it gives us the option of pen, marker, glow pen, highlighter you can increase decrease the size and the transparency and you've got quite a few colors there to use so just for example with this page i'm going to go with the pen and all i'm doing is just holding down and going in any direction but this gives me the creative freedom to do whatever i want with this page and if you can see there's also an eraser tool so if i have made any errors then i can just go over that so it is really really simple to use The next thing I want to talk about with Canva is its templates. Now, Canva has a lot of templates for you to use, especially if you struggle with design or you don't really have any idea what you're doing. 
And even if you are a free user of Canva, there are still some good templates that you can use. Whereas if you've got the pro version, then you're definitely going to get a lot more benefit out of it. So let's say you were struggling to make a, a book cover. You didn't really have an idea and you needed some inspiration. You can just search in the templates for book cover. And then what's going to happen is it's going to give you loads of different themes for book covers. So if you see the little crown there, then those are only for those that have the pro feature. All the other covers without a crown are free to use. So you can scroll down and we see examples of creative book cover, photo book cover. You've got a notebook cover, vintage book cover. Uh, you've got children's book cover as well. So it has so many ideas for inspiration and all you'd need to do is let's say you liked a certain cover, you just click on it and then you can make all the changes that you need to. So Canva also has some fantastic interiors as well. For example, if we type in the word logbook, you'll see loads of different interiors that you can use and take ideas from and maybe just edit them in your own unique way. Another recent feature of Canva is the color picker and this allows you to match an exact word or object with a particular color. Now Canva usually provides a color palette of all the colors that are being used on the image that's being shown. However, in some cases, you might not always find the exact color that you're looking for. And in that case, all you need to do is simply click on the particular word or object that you would want to change. So in this case, I'm going to try and change the name Matt Zarg. So I'm going to change this from white to gold so it matches this exact object here. So first, make sure you click on the object or word that you want to change. And I've clicked on that. Then click on the text color at the top and you should be given a few options with document colors. And let's say I wasn't happy with the document colors I wasn't provided. All I need to do is click on this first option here of add a new color. Then the color picker is this option here and it will provide you with a small square so you can go over anything on your current image and then pick the exact color that you want. So let's say I'm happy with this color, then it will change you see the words to that exact color that I've chosen so that it matches. This next feature that I'm going to talk about is called Quick Create. Now this year, I think a lot of people are going to be trying to be building up social media accounts. And the benefit of this is that it is the quickest and easiest way to create social media designs. So to access this, all you need to do is go to the home page, then press the social media, and then you'll see it as your first option on the screen under popular. Then press quick create and give that a second to load up. So it's a five step process. And first of all, it allows you to create designs for all these different formats. So if you want to create one for, let's say, an Instagram post, a story post, a Facebook post, we'll go a Pinterest pin, but you can also do it for a Facebook cover, Twitter post, email header and LinkedIn post. So you have quite a few options. So you can even do all eight as well. So once we've selected the ones that we want to choose, you just click continue, then choose your text for the design. So for example, I'm just going to call this a dogs club. Then if you want, you can add some additional text underneath. So just an example, I'm just going to add taking care of your dog's needs. Then you can, can click continue again. So we've got our text sorted. Then all you need to do is just add what kind of image you want to use. So for example, I've just found this image of a dog. All you can do is drag and drop or you can just upload it also. Um, I've already done that just to save a little bit of time. So then you can see it's added the image there. Click continue again. Now it's given us a few examples of different templates that we can use. So we've got geometric, then we've got organic, then we've got elegant, then we've got simple, then we've got fun, and we've also got modern. So we've got quite a few examples to choose from. Let's say I liked organic, so we can go with one of these designs click continue. And finally, 
you're able to change the color palette. So if you're not happy with the colors you have been provided, you can change the color palettes to different styles and you can just select all the different options you can find here. Then you can also change the fonts also, which is pretty good. So you can find something that will stand out to you and it will change it on all the same images also. So if you can see, we've got one for an Instagram post, Facebook post, and a Pinterest pin. And once you're happy with what you've got, all you need to do is click the finish, and then you'll be able to download all your different designs. The next couple features that I will discuss, they are only for the Canva Pro users, but these are just the benefits of being a Canva Pro user. So the first one I'm going to talk about are mockups. And these are really useful for if you want to do maybe A plus content or social media content. And it just allows you to demonstrate your book or design in real life settings or various creative backgrounds. So to access mockups in Canva, first of all, you need to upload the image or design that you want to use, then make sure you click on it so that it's on your page. Then after this, click on the image and then click edit image. And I've recently used it, so you'll see it shown up at the top, but you'd usually have to just scroll down and then you'd have the options of smart mockups. So you can click see all. Then we, if we scroll down, you see you've got a few options for phone mockups, you've got computer mockups, you've got card mockups, and frame and posters mockups. And what we're looking for is books. So if you wanted to show off your book cover, you are only limited to maybe the outside of the book cover. But let's say we wanted to use an example of somebody holding our book, then we can choose book four. We click on that. We give it a second to load and then we've got our mock-up of somebody holding our book. So we can use this now as maybe A plus content or if you want to put it on your social media, you can do that. If you wanted to add some text, you can do that or even change the background. So you've got various things that you can do. Another great feature of Canva Pro is the background remover. So let's say for this particular mock-up design, I wanted to get rid of the background. Canva makes this a really short and easy process. So all I do is click on the image. And after this, go to edit image. And then you'll see the option of background remover. So it's just a one click. You click that, give it a moment. And you can see what a fantastic job that it's able to do. And if there's any parts that you're unhappy with, you can always just click on either the arrays or you can click on the restore if there's any parts you want to come back. So let's say we clicked on the erase, just go over, let's say his shoulder. We didn't like how that looked. You can just click that and let's say you make a mistake, then you just click the cancel and it will, it will go back to normal. This feature is really useful, for example, when you may have a book rejected because of certain dimensions, which we've all experienced and can be really frustrating. Canva will allow you to quickly resize your interior or designs. So this particular design is 8.5 by 8.5. And let's say we wanted to add a bleed. All you would need to do is go to the resize in the left hand top corner then you can change the width to 8.625 by 8.75. And if you did not want to affect this particular copy, you can just click copy and resize and it'll make you the new design. Otherwise, you can just click the resize whilst making sure that this box is ticked, then click the resize and then it'll quickly resize your design in the requested measurements. So thanks for watching another video. I hope you've picked up a few Canva features that you didn't know about, or maybe a few features that you would like to try out. Now, if you're interested in learning how to make your book stand out in 2022, then check out this video.